Kobe Bryant echoed what I've been saying all season long, that maybe Ben Simmons is right-handed, not left-handed, and you got to break that jumper down here. Reg, what do you do with Ben Simmons? You already have Markel Fultz, who's got issues with his jumper. Ben Simmons, can you imp how much can you improve that jump shot? Well, absolutely you can improve it a lot, but Ben Simmons has to want to improve. If I'm Simmons, I am absolutely living in the gym this offseason. And I don't care if he's left, right-handed, if it's a push shot, if it's a mama shot, and he shoots it with both hands. He has to put the time and work in it. And to me, all the great players always come back adding something. That's the last thing he really needs to his game. And he's, this will be his third year, even though people are calling him a rookie. I think if he adds a jump shot, and it doesn't have to be all the way to the three-point line, but if he can add a 15, an 18, and maybe a long 22-footer, you know, feet on the three-point line, this young man will be unstoppable because... But, Reg, he, he doesn't have a 10-footer right now. I, that's, well, that's what I'm saying. He has to add that to his game. If he had, Look, that was the knock on LeBron James, right? He couldn't shoot. And he's not a great shooter now, but he's keeps you on a shooter right now Ben Simmons does not keep anyone honest he just tries to bully you and he can get away with that but as you saw as for the longer he goes throughout the, the playoffs and the better teams and the better coaches they're going to take all those things away from him it'll be good from a night-to-night -night basis during the regular season but all your flaws get exposed yep. the longer you hang around Late April, all of May, and if you want to get into June, those warts start coming to the surface. Yeah, I just think it's it's difficult. There's no form there whatsoever. Even on his free throws, you can see that. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. He just has to keep the defense honest. I would stay in the lab. He needs two to three hours, and he doesn't need a guru shooting coach. He needs his boys. All right, that I'm sure are on the payroll. Yeah, but Reg, if I yeah. gave you four months, and that's what he's going to have here, four months to get that jumper ready for the, the regular season, what would you do with Ben Simmons? It's repetition. It's repetition, repetition, repetition. And I would start, like you said, in. I would start at 10 to 12 feet, and I would go around the world certain spots. I don't need to be Steph Curry and going through my legs and pull up. I need spot shooting. So we're going to start 10 feet on the baseline, and we're going to shoot 100, and you've got to make 75% of them. Then we're going to go to the next spot, the 45-degree angle. Shoot 100 of them, and you've got to make 75% of them. All right, and we're going to stay here until you get it done. If you don't like it, then you're not as great as we all thought you wanted, wanted to be. But if you He's continue to, to shoot it, it but Reg, if you have bad, he has bad form. He has to improve his form before he does any of that stuff. Because but all you're doing will is come with repetition, Theodore. That's what I'm saying. Right now, I think he just shoots to be shooting. And I don't care about the form. I had terrible looking form. But it's, to me, it was repetition. I got comfortable with the way I shot. But you had great follow he's... through, though. Your, your follow through, it's like your, your shot was like Jim Furyk's golf shot. It may not look normal or pretty, but at the end, you're at the same spot that everybody else is. And that's all that matters. Ben doesn't get there. At the end of the day, the more repetition I, I would do with him if I was uh, working with him, that will come in time. Because there are certain shots when he does shoot them, he does hold up the gooseneck. It might not look pretty, yeah. but he is trying. Yeah. Would you rather have Lonzo Ball's shot or the potential that Ben Simmons may have with his shot? Man. That is a great call. I would... I would go with Ben Simmons right now. Wow. Reg. <laughs> I would go with Ben Simmons wow. right now. Wow, Reg, that's the wrong answer. At least Lonzo I has. I would go with Ben wow. Simmons right now. Who's a better that shooter? Is... Uh, okay, who's a better shooter at the end of their career? As we look back, Lonzo Ball or Ben Simmons? Oh, let's book this. <laughs> well, but, no, hold on. First of all, Ball is going to be, he's going to take way more threes. At the end of the, by the end of their career than Simmons. So it's hard to base that because Simmons will take less threes. But a higher percentage will be, oh, well, that'd after, be ben. Year five, after year five. Let's do that. Let's revisit this after year five. Who has the better percentage? Yeah, but Ben is – all of his shots are four feet in. He, he's 0 for 11 from three-point range. I don't know what he shot from five feet out. But – 0 for 11? No, just kidding. <laughs> no, he's, he, he doesn't shoot well. Like his range is four feet. 
It's a coming. Lonzo does, hit. Lonzo, look out for the league. Lonzo hit 93s this year. Now, granted, 30 percent, but he hit 93s this year. You like Ben Simmons will have 93s by year five. By year five. <laughs> <laughs> is that wait? Is that total of five years? Total. 90? <laughs> total. Total. <laughs> Could you beat, if I blindfolded you, could you beat Ben Simmons in a three-point shooting contest? I want to take those odds. <laughs> yes, I would. Yes, I would. <laughs> and you know what? I'd probably begrudgingly go with you. you Thank you. Yes, I, I probably would. I would just ben Simmons, say, <laughs> please get into the lab to prove Theodore oh, and I wrong. Oh. Because when you get a three-point shot, it's going to be lights out. Just it's an honest. You got to keep them honest. That's all that's remaining in your game. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv or download the Dan Patrick Show app.